In this video, we're going to create another transition, a vocal buildup effect. And this time, we'll be using the simpler device to get our feet wet with a technique called sampling. But first, let's check out what we're going to make. So what exactly is the simpler device? The simpler is an instrument known as a sampler. A sampler, in ultra-simplistic terms, is basically a glorified tape recorder. It stores audio samples and lets you play them back using a keyboard or other controller. Samplers also allow you to manipulate the audio samples in interesting and creative ways, like changing the pitch of the audio material. Samplers played a huge role in the development of hip-hop and electronic music in the 70s and 80s. And back in the day, samplers were actually pieces of hardware. You might have even heard of some of the more famous hardware samplers like the MPC or SB1200. Thanks to the advent of digital technology, all the cool features in a sampler can be emulated by a software instrument. And that's what simpler is, a software sampler. Just a quick note, Ableton actually has two software samplers, and the other one is called, surprise, surprise, sampler. Basically, Sampler is Sampler's big brother. However, if you're using the Intro Edition or Standard Edition, then your version of Ableton doesn't come with Sampler. But Sampler is an incredibly powerful device, and it's the perfect place to start if you're new to sampling in Ableton. So to start, let's drag Sampler to where it says Drop Files and Devices, and again, we're just dragging the default one. So you'll notice here it says Drop Sample here. So we can drop any audio file either from the browser or from an audio clip in Ableton. So we could either grab the vocal clip from here, which is what we're going to use, and just drop that into Simpler. We could also go into the Samples folder and find this vocal and just drop it in here also. So either one of those works. So what I'm going to do real quick is just move the start point of Simpler so that it's next to this first uh, syllable or this first word, which is yo. yo, yo. All right, so in classic mode, it's going to function like a classic sampler does. And what that means is that when we play different note pitches on our keyboard, it's going to transpose our sample. Yo, 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 yo. So I'm playing different notes on my MIDI controller here. The other thing about classic mode is it's polyphonic, so we can play more than one note at, at a time. So if I held a chord down, no, no, no. I could play a chord out of this vocal part, which is super cool. So the next mode we have is one shot, which is good for drum samples. So in all of our other drum racks, with our kick, it's set to one shot, snares, it's all set to one shot drum samples. And one thing I should point out with classic mode, no. when you let go of the key, no it stops playing. Whereas one shot mode, you just simply trigger it yo. and it will keep going until the end Come marker on. here in the simple. So one shot mode, you can transpose also, yo, 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 yo. but you can't play multiple voices or multiple notes at the same time. And the mode that we're gonna check out here is the slicing mode. So what slicing mode does is it slices up our sample into individual chunks and splits them across your keyboard or across your MIDI controller. So we can zoom in in the simpler just like we can anywhere else. And I'm going to bring in our endpoint here. So we're just working with a couple of these words here. So you notice it's placed in these orange markers. And on my controller, yo, 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 yo. if we play the different pads, it's instantly sliced it up. So from here, it's currently marking some of these transients, but as we can see, some of these spots aren't really where we would want a slice to be or a sample to play back. So the sensitivity control here allows us to turn down the sensitivity on certain samples, and you'll notice that those ones that were samples have now turned gray, so it's not gonna create a slice there. So now I only have a couple of slices in this. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. So if you want to move 
a slice, you just simply go in and can drag it. So we can move this one back to the beginning of that. And I'm just clicking and dragging left and right here. And usually we want this first slice marker to start with our start point too. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something that matches our drum pattern here. So I'm going to select an area below and I'm going to hit the quick key shift command M on a Mac or shift control M on a PC. It's under insert, under the create menu, under insert MIDI clip or shift command M. So that creates a new blank MIDI clip for us to work in. And by default here, these samples are showing up down here. Yo, 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 yo. C1 on our um, piano roll here. So I'm going to right click and select quarter notes and plug in a note for yo. our sample here. And then just use the modifier key command D on a Mac or control D on a PC. And again, we're going to match this, this buildup of this drum break here. So let me zoom in so you can see all of this. Yo, 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 yo. So we can now highlight those four, duplicate that again. And now in this third bar, where these start to speed up, I'm going to take it to eighth notes. Double click to add a note. Eighth notes. And then we'll go to 16th notes. So it's not playing the exact rhythmic pattern that the drum loop is playing when we chop it up, but it is doing a similar thing in that it, it's speeding up and cutting the note values in half. So let's hear what we got. So let's take it one step further here and let's hit the E to go into our envelopes tab. Under our device chooser here, we can choose to select MIDI control so we can affect different things that are associated with the MIDI protocol, such as pitch bend and modulation and a lot of other things too. So we're going to keep it on pitch bend and we're going to create a break point here at the beginning, a break point at bar three here, and then a break point at the end. And we're going to bring this all the way up and then use option on a Mac or alt on a PC to bend this curve. Maybe we'll start it a little bit sooner. So this is going to pitch this sample up. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, now you know a little bit more about sampling with the simpler and how to create a vocal buildup effect. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about Ableton and music production. Just so you know, this video is part of a comprehensive introductory course about Ableton Live. Check it out at sequence1.org.